Hello, welcome back to Grow New Plants. Today I am going to do the follow-up video on the oleanders that I planted they were just about two months ago. And these things could have been transplanted earlier. I've just been tied up with a bunch of other projects and haven't done them yet. And I got some semi-successful results out of these. I've got, I guess, a total of 32 planted and I planted reds, pinks, reds, pinks, whites, and then the little pink ice, which is the miniature version that I had the plant of here. And out of all of them, the, uh, the pinks did the worst. And actually, the worst was the mini pinks. The next worst was the other pinks. So maybe pink is harder to root. I don't really know. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start out with the, the worst one and move forward. So all of these over here are the pink ice. This was the miniature version that I have the plant uh, here at my house. So let's pull them out and I've already kind of played with them a little bit so I know there's only maybe a few here that are rooted enough. Here's one that I've already pulled out. So that, that will root and that will take. So that's acceptable, but it's not great. So I'm gonna get that one planted up. And then that may, honestly, that may be the only one out of these. So I'm gonna get these planted up and then I'll label them so I know which ones are which. So there's that one. This one, I'll just go ahead and pull them out. See, it's got roots, but that's not enough to transplant yet. Same with this one. Same with this one. All the rest of them had already died and I'd pulled them out. So it looks like I, I could have left these in, but it's getting late in the year. I'm not going to mess with them. So I'll try these again when I get my missing bench. I'm sure I'll have better success. So out of the, the pink ice ones, only got one. So I'm going to go ahead and label that one. And uh, if you've never seen them before either, these Artline Garden Markers, these things are wonderful. They will not fade. <clears throat> so pink ice. And it's 9-8. So I'll go ahead and label that one. So now we'll move on over to these, which I'm sure are gonna look a whole lot better. Let's get our dirt ready. See, that's really nice right there. And these are the the white ones, okay? So that that's that's really nice set of roots right there. That thing's gonna take off and do great. And like I said, there's some of these, like this one here, this one could have been transplanted. It's been it's been about eight weeks. They probably could have been could have been transplanted in about six weeks, which is pretty normal. So this is my normal mix. Uh, it's rained a lot, so all my mix was kind of wet, so it looks different. But it's my normal mix that I use. It's a uh, three quarters uh, fine ground bark mulch, and then a quarter peat, and then with my slow release fertilizer inside of it. So let's just go on through another really nice one. So I'm going to do really well on my white ones. So those are going to be great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the, some of these obviously did not make it. That one didn't make it. That one didn't. That one didn't. That one didn't. That one didn't. And that one didn't. So I'm guessing I got one, two, and then probably, I'm guessing all these rest of these are gonna be good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven out of uh, 16 in the white ones made it. Just gotta pull gently, but yeah, that's a great root system. So I'll go ahead, I'll fast forward through the rest of these, and then we'll come back and do another color. Okay, so out of the 
white ones, I got seven good ones. And you can see where these are where they were cut originally. Like here's a good example of one. This is where it was cut initially. So it's put out all these new shoots. Hopefully you can see that. All these new shoots have come out since then. It's got another one coming out right over here. So these things are putting out new growth. This was a tip here that I should have cut it at the top to make it branch, but it's got some new shoots. So I'll probably top that one off. Any of these that were the, the tips, I'll top off to make them branch out. So all these are starting to branch out good. So they should really take off now, hopefully develop a pretty good root system going into the winter. So I'll go ahead and get reset up and we'll work on the pink ones and the uh, red ones. Okay, so now I've got the red ones and the pink ones. These are the full size pink and then the reds. So I've already kind of culled out the bad ones and it looks like I think I have 12 left. I have four, two, three, four of the pink ones did good. And then out of the red ones, actually I had quite a few. I have uh, four, five, six, seven, eight of the reds. So the reds and the whites did about the same. The pinks did not do as well and the miniature pinks definitely didn't do as well. So anyway, so I'm gonna take, we'll do the pinks first. There's just four of those and Again, really nice roots. These ought to take off and make great plants. So we'll get these buried in here. And I've already got some pink labels made up, ready to go for these. So there's a pink one. Let's see what this one looks like. Again, really nice. These, these did great. And I've actually, a friend of mine has taken some of these and just done them, did them in water. And they actually did really well too. So just uh, rooted them in water. And then once they got a good set of roots on them, took them and moved them into dirt and they're actually taking off and growing really well too. So in general, these things root pretty easy. Now the pink ones, I didn't have a lot of luck with for some reason. And it could be something to do with the genetics that make the pink, that make them not root as well. That's entirely possible. I don't know that for a fact, but I think it's it's something that is entirely possible. We got one more of these and then we'll do a couple of the red ones and I'll fast forward through the end of them. Okay, so there's all my pink ones. Label that one, label that one, get these out of the way. Okay, so now we'll take a look at the red ones. Let's just start with this one here in the front. Again, really nice. Those are great roots on these. So I tell you what I'm going to do, I'll do one more of these and then I'll fast forward through the end of them and then I'll set them all back up here on the table and we'll take a look and see exactly how many we got out of these 64 that I planted. Again, really nice. I think pretty feel pretty confident the remainder ones that I have here are all going to have sufficient roots to be planted up. If you look at all these, we've got 20 that came out out of the 64. So that's about a third of the plants that we stuck all germinated, which is not really bad. This method with the domes, uh, it's it works. You're gonna get some plants out of it, but it's not anywhere near what you're gonna get if you've actually got a misting system set up, which we'll have next season. Uh, next spring and next summer, we'll have a misting season. We ought to be able to get all kinds of crazy cuttings. Uh, the only thing that I've gotten even close to 100% germination or rootings out of was the Vitex trees and those, almost all of those stuck. But I'm still happy with this. I've got a good little collection of plants to go into next summer with. So I'll let these root out the rest of the fall and uh, 
overwinter them and then they ought to put out some good growth next year. As far as, I'm not really sure, they grow relatively fast. I'll probably transplant them up to threes in the spring and then see where they go from there. But we'll, uh, we'll do lots of cuttings next spring and summer with, uh, I got the misting system set up. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Please like, please subscribe, please share my videos. Thank you.